Greetings. Today, I want to share with you about our assignment that's going to be ongoing throughout the semester entitled Making Connections, Setting Goals, Ongoing Self-Evaluation. Regardless of the course that you're taking with me, I find that it is very valuable for you to take time to reflect on the work that you're doing. Your own self-evaluation is going to be increasingly important as you continue on your scholarly journey. And so what you have here is a template for an ongoing self-evaluation. The first thing that you need to do is to go to file and make a copy so that you can write on it. You will make a copy of the entire presentation my recommendation is that you call it your first or last name or simply your initials, which I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to make my copy. The first thing that I want to do with my copy so that I know that others can read it when I'm ready to share it is to go and unlock it. So I'm going to click on the share button. I'm going to go to where it says restricted and click on that and allow anyone with a link to view. Once I've done that, I'm ready to go. The first several slides explain the purpose and directions, and they invite you to create more space if you need to. So if you need to add a slide for more writing, you can always go to the plus sign here and add a slide at any time. And then we finally get to the place where I ask you to take a look at our learning outcomes. And there are some underlined links here. Anytime you see a link, it's underlined. When you click on it, you can go ahead and open it and take a look at whatever resource I give to you. As we move, take a look at the number one. Number one corresponds with our unit. So depending on the number of units that we study in your particular English class with me will be determined by the number here. So if you see that there are four numbers, we have four units. In this particular class, we have five. And so at the end of each unit, you are going to be invited to fill out several slides about your work. It's important to keep your work in front of you so that you can input the important information here. And then all you need to do is take a look at the instructions as to what they ask you to include and what they're asking you to reflect upon. And you work up until you get to the slide just before the number two, which will tell you to submit this to the unit wrap up. Once you submit it to the unit wrap up, you can go ahead and work on the next unit in our course. And you'll see that there are slides and they're very similar. Sometimes there's a little bit of change here and there depending on the unit, but you're gonna be asked to do this at the end of each unit. You are always welcome to work ahead. And so once you've completed unit one, you can go ahead and get started and take a look at the slides for unit two. At the end of each unit, you will submit the same URL here. You can go to share, you will copy your link and you'll submit your link to Canvas. That will be all. And this particular activity is going to allow you to deeply think about what you've learned, how you've learned, and give you some support as you continue on your academic journey. Thank you.